Hi, welcome back to Detailer World. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the latest purchase that I've made to help dry the car a lot easier and a lot safer. So, of course, it's no surprise to you guys. You've seen the title, you've seen the thumbnail, and you've probably searched for this on YouTube. But I bought the Blow Air GT Car Dry just to make drying the car a lot safer. It's a touchless drying system, but I'm mainly going to be using it for drying out the grills, wheels, and that kind of area, you know, around the mirrors and all the water traps, basically. So today we're going to do an unboxing on this and take a quick first look. I've only received this on Tuesday. It's now Sunday so other than opening it quickly I've not actually taken it out of the box at all I've not turned it on I've not tested it or anything we'll also go over my reasons later on why I picked this over other options quick thanks to clean and shiny as well this retails at 230 pounds however we do have a discount code for you guys if you want to save a bit of cash on this keep watching I'll give you that code shortly so yep yeah, let's dive into this and open this up Right, so we are then we've got everything out, so just have a quick look at this then. So it looks like we've got a couple of nozzles in here, uh, rubber tipped as well. So we've got this uh, smaller sort of pointy ended nozzle and then the wide flat nozzle as well. Documents of some sort, a uh, bit of packaging here, so let's have a look. So here we go, it comes on wheels as standard. Looks like some locking pedals there as well, or unlock. So stop that rolling about. Nice long course. So there's some notes on the box here as well. Uh, how long is it? I think it's like an eight meter power cord. I'm not sure. It's quite a long cord. I know I've seen that. Now the main reason I bought this um, really was the longer, much longer hose. So this is an eight meter hose. I assume that's once it's fully stretched out and inflated. Um, now you may remember last year I did a video on the big boy, which I'll put a link up here. Um, and I think that had like a four or five meter hose and you could buy an extension or a longer hose. This is eight meters, so that's ideal. It's also got a, also got a chunkier nozzle as well. Um, some of the other things on this compared to the big, I've not got the big boy specs on me now, but trying to remember, they range had a little buddy for about 99 pounds. They had a mini, I think it was, for around about 250-ish, same price, similar price to this and the pro i think it was called which was about 330 350 pounds i'll put those links up um, and this one seemed to beat the specs of pretty much all of them and as i said it's cost like 230 pounds you do get a 10 percent discount code as well which i'll give you later on now one of the things to consider is on the big boy ones you had like adjustable wind speeds they had twin motors this has also got a twin motor i was trying to remember everything off the top of my head here right now so let me just spin this box around um this one had a higher um cfm airflow speed basically you've also got the adjustment here as well um for controlling the airflow so whereas i think the bid boy it was more of a toggle switch setting and i believe as well if i remember rightly this warms the air 30 degrees above um ambient temperatures and again i think the big boy was about 20. something like that but as i say it's not a light flight comparison but I know people are going to ask questions, so hopefully that's quickly reel some of those off. But the main reason I bought this, as I said, it came as standard with a longer hose, meaning I don't have to move the machine around too much. And the fact it was about £100 or £80 cheaper than the big boy flagship um, product, basically. So, yeah, we'll give the car a quick clean, uh, just to get it wet, basically, and then we'll give this a try. Okay, so with the car all washed then, it was time to test out this blow dryer then. So first of all, I'll just mention that any audio that you hear from the blow dryer, that's audio captured from a shotgun mic mounted on top of the camera. So just give you an idea of how loud it is from the distance between the machine and the camera. And the machine is about a foot in front of the car from basically pretty much where it's mounted there. So for the majority of the drying, then I use this at around about 60% power. I didn't need it on full power really. 
and I use the sort of wide, flat, narrow um, nozzle on the end rather than the smaller, pointier nozzle. Just see how I fared with this basically. Um, and here we're just testing to see if the hose can reach the full length of the car, which you can see it easily does so. You don't have to move the machine at all from that position. So this is ideal then for blowing out the water trap areas such as the boot shot, which is what I'm doing here. And obviously your wing mirrors, the wheel nuts, the grills around badges and things like that. You can dry the entire car if you wish, but you can probably tell from this footage it's quite a warm day. I did dry the entire car off, but it felt like it took a bit longer. So on a hot day, I'll probably just blow out all of the water traps and then maybe mop up the surface with a drying towel. But I guess that depends on yourself really in the setup you but you may be able to wash the car in 100% shade cover all of the time so for me then my method of drying was basically starting off with the bonnet and then going up onto the roof so doing the flat panels first in fact you probably want to start with the roof it'll blow down onto the windscreen then dry that off and then the bonnet and then I would go straight to the areas where all the water traps are because what's going to happen especially like around the wheel nuts and the mirrors is water is just going to blow everywhere so there's no point drying all of the panels for the water just to sort of like overspray onto those areas so yeah you'll figure it out if you do buy one of these yourself you'll get used to it and so this is my first time using this it's only really the second time i've used a blow dryer on a car the previous was with the big boy about 18 months ago so like i said this one's mine i've paid for this outright with my own cash so i'll be using this over the next few weeks and i probably will adapt a better method um, over the coming weeks i'm using this and of course i'll update it in any future videos so yeah we'll get the rest of this car dried off and get back into the garage Right, so we go then, that's the first play about them with the Blow Air GT, uh, which I've just noticed actually is made in Denver, Colorado, or born in Denver, Colorado, it says. So, yep, that's new, I didn't know that. So another tool to play around with that the neighbors will think I've lost my mind with. My first impression though was how much quieter it seemed than the big boy that I reviewed last year. And again, I don't want this to go into a, this is better than that or anything like that. Um, but I remember using the big boys last year and I was messing around with all three, they sent all three at the time. And I just thought to myself, it attracts a lot of attention. I know detail in general does, you know, snow foaming and all that. It's a bit out of the ordinary, so people will sort of see you. Um, but when it's a noise thing, I don't want to be upsetting neighbours and all of that jazz. Um, but this seemed a lot quieter. I know I've got my headphones in, but I kept taking them out and it didn't seem too obtrusive as such. You, you know, you wouldn't mind hearing that for five minutes or so whilst you're driving a car. So when using it then, um, yes, the hose does extend to a nice eight meters. And again, you can see clips where I've got the machine. I never even actually moved it. I've got it about a foot in front of the car and I can get all the way around to the back of the car quite comfortably with that eight meter extension. Bear in mind, if you do get one of these, it does advise in the instructions, start it up on its lowest power setting, but also make sure you've got a good grip of the handle as well. And speaking of the handle, I do like this one. It's got a nice, it looks like a neoprene material around it, quite a comfortable grip, and it's quite a chunkier hose also. It's quite a beefy um, length of hose or width of hose to be handling as well. Um, but yeah, make sure you've got a good grip of that when you do gradually turn up. So start it up on the lowest setting and then just turn up the power. And actually I was using it for the majority of the time, around about 60%. I didn't really need to go full power for a lot of it. I dare say I could, uh, I just didn't feel the need to go back and change it. And another thing to mention as well is that ambient air temperature. So again, you get models where you can change the air temperature. To me, it's just one less thing to worry about. If you just turn it on, set the sort of flow rate that you want, and you will probably find the sweet spot that you're happy with. You don't need to be messing around with the temperature. It just heats the air up 30 degrees above ambient. So you know when you're drying it, it's also evaporating some of the sort of minor little uh, dots of water, beads of water, that's the word I'm looking for. So it's kind of evaporating those off as well. Now, would I use this 
on a weekly wash basis? Well, that kind of depends. I mean, I think if I'm doing a regular maintenance wash on mine, probably not. I'm probably not going to dry an entire car with it. And because it still does take quite a bit of time, what I probably would do is go around all the water traps first. So blow out the door handles, the mirrors where it collects the front grille, and maybe like the boot sort of, um, or whatever you call that, <laughs> yeah, in, inside the boot lid. And then after that, off the surface, just mop the rest up with a towel. However, if I've just spent a few days correcting a car and all of that good stuff, then yes, I will be drying a car like that 100% with the blower. There's no point if you've polished a car and got every single scratch, swirl and defect out of the paintwork, why would you want to go ahead and touch it when you don't really need to with the drying towel? You can give it a final rinse down after you've done all your polishing and then yeah, dry it off with this. And then maybe the future washers, again, maybe stick with this. I think on your day-to-day -day cars, your daily drivers, blow out the water traps with this and maybe mop up the rest of it with a towel. So yeah, with that said, it's quite a hot day today. So this took just as long, if not longer, than it would to towel dry. So there's always that risk of water spotting. I think in the winter, if you've got the time or if you've got an indoor facility, then yeah, definitely you can dry the entire car with this. Really, that's down to your preference and I'm gonna be using this a lot more now. Um, say a lot more, I've only just got it, but yeah, I'm gonna be using this uh, a fair bit over the next few weeks and months and I'll probably try and keep some up-to-date videos for you guys. So on the last videos, on the big boys, I know people was asking about the noise, so yeah, just bear me a sec. I'm just gonna switch on the unit. In fact, if I turn you around, You can see the units just there. I'm just gonna put it to the end of the garage and I'm gonna come back and stand here. And uh, yeah, I'll show you how it sounds. Right, so stood here right now then. Um, you're getting the audio from the mic here on me. Um, this is on the lowest setting, so you can mainly hear the mic's probably picking that up more than the motor. Let's go and uh, turn the motor up to the full volume. Now this is it on full volume. I'm gonna to need to turn it off soon. It's a bit loud in here. Woo! So yeah, there we go. There's the noise test. Jeff's not too keen on it. I think it's a bit too high pitched for him. And he's coming in now. Um, but yeah, it is in an enclosed space. Outside, it seems absolutely fine. If you're working with some headphones in, it's not really gonna bother you too much. So yeah, we'll wrap this video up then. <coughs> Jeff, <coughs> Jeff, come here. So yeah, to wrap this video up then, as I said, we've got a discount code to get 10% off. If you go to cleanandshiny.co.uk and use the discount code DW10, you've got 10% off the entire order. Now these are currently retailing for £230. So that's gonna bring that price down to around about £207 plus whatever else you add to your basket. So yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed to this channel already, please do consider subscribing as well. It really does help us out. It helps Jeff out and feeds him for another week. Also, don't forget to check us out on Instagram at Detailing World Official. You can also check me out for behind the scenes and sometimes pictures of this guy at Randomly Set. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next one. Say bye. Oh. Hello.